What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to write numbers into words. So let's jump into it. Okay, so what we're going to remember today is that we're going to group our numbers first. So let's have a think about what that means with our first example, 723. So the first thing I'm going to try and do is group my numbers. So I can see that I have a six block place value chart here, where I have one, two, three, four, five, and six available slots. But we, of course, only need three. This is a three digit number. So I'm only gonna be working in this first block, nicknamed the ones, first of all. And in this first block, I actually have my ones, tens, and hundreds. Hopefully you've seen that before. So in 723, I can see I have three ones, two tens, and seven hundreds. And because we're only in this first block, we don't need to think about thousands at the moment, so we can simply say what we see. So I have 723. So I'll put this little and symbol to remind me there's an and there. So when writing this number into words, all I would have is 700 and, don't forget that, and 23. Awesome. A simple one to get us started. Let's have a look at a more challenging one, 6723. So this time we actually have a four digit number. So I'm gonna be using one, two, three, four of our available slots. And this time I can see that I'm gonna use my ones, my tens, my hundreds, and the first one of our thousands. So when putting this number in, I can see I have three ones, two tens, seven hundreds, and six thousands. Now let's think about our groups again. Remember, we're grouping our numbers, and I can see I'm in my ones group, and now I have something in my thousands group too. So this is really important now, because I'm gonna say what I see in each group first. And in my thousands, I can see that I just have a six. So the start of my answer will be six thousand. And now I come to the next group my ones and in the ones all I can see is I have a 723 so I just simply write that 6723 so the only extra part of this question was this thousands part we had a six in the thousands, so therefore I put 6,000 at the start. Let's turn the heat up a little bit more, and look at something even harder. Whoa, now I can see I have a six digit number. So therefore I'm gonna be using all six columns in this place value chart. Of course we could go bigger and have even more columns into the millions, the trillions, but we're not going to today. So now I can see I'm gonna need my ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. And I can see with my number, I have six ones, seven tens, eight hundreds, seven thousands, five ten thousands, and six hundred thousands. So again, let's think back to our tip of grouping our number first, and we're gonna group our numbers into our ones, and our thousands. Now I want you to notice something here, first of all. We group in groups of three. We can see we have three digits to the ones, and we have three digits in the thousands. If I was to have another column here, this would start our millions. And I'd have a millions column here, 10 million, 100 million, etc., etc. into my trillions. So we group in sets of three. And that's why we use this comma here, if you can just see that comma, to separate the number even when we write it down as digits. That helps us remember that this 873 is in a different group to the 657. 
these are my ones, these are my thousands. So again, all I need to do at this point is say what I see. And I can see here 657. And what group are we in? We're in the thousands. So I have 600 and 57,000. Because remember, we're in the thousands column. Then I can put my comma. 800 and 76 because 876 is what I can see in my ones column and that's about as hard as it can get it could get longer we could come into our millions and I could have my millions here so let's write a number including my millions let's have 20 Five million three hundred and twenty two thousand one hundred and twenty six. But again, all I have to do is group my numbers into three, starting from the ones. So I have three digits here, I have three digits to my thousands, and I don't quite have three digits in my millions, but that's fine. But therefore, it's really important to remember that we must always group from our ones first, because if I group three numbers here, starting from my millions, I would end up getting it wrong because look, I come across the wrong groups and I don't have three at the end here. So when we're grouping, it's really important to remember, start to group from the ones. Okay, well, let's write what we see. Starting with our millions, how many millions do I have? I have 25, so 25 million. How many thousands do I have? I have 322, so I have three hundred and twenty two thousand another comma and then what do I have in the ones 126 and there we go and honestly that is as hard as that can get it can get longer we could go into our trillions but it can't get much harder if we remember this pattern of starting to group our numbers in sets of three starting from the ones column. Simple. Let's look at what to remember. To write a number into words, we can partition it or group it first into sets of three. Commas can really help you to split the number and help us to understand the sections or the different groups. Okay, so your turn. Have a go at writing this number here into words. First, think about where you're gonna find your groups there's a big clue here because we have the comma. And write your answer in the comment section. I'm going to try and mark every single one. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. Okay, and there we have it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel or sharing this video with a friend. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.